What's happening, everybody? I'm Roadmaster. Welcome back to more Tank Mechanic Simulator. And as you can see, I've been working on a little bit of a tank. Uh, they're... Rust remo okay, that's I'm, I'm missing just like a little bit of things on it. I've actually had to do stuff with this that I've never done. I was just trying to get through... Basically trying to make it so I could get a little bit of points so we can unlock the mag meter. Magma meter or whatever it is. So we can... Proceed to use that next time we go out to find another tank to build so we can put it in the museum. But I need 50 points. So this one gives me 51 for doing this thing. I have to repair it 200%. Um, the only problem is all the parts that I need to do, I'm actually having to take things apart. I would have started it a minute ago if I realized how much I'd have to take apart. So I've been going into here, and it shows me what I'm missing. It looks like the wheels are finally done. Gearbox oil tank supply. Now it's actually showing me, by the way. How do I, how do I, I want to turn the camera. Okay, so you? I just need to sand that a little bit more. Uh, yeah, it's actually showing me when I click on the thing as to what part it is that needs to be repaired. Sandblasting is pretty much done. I just have this last little bit. This is definitely a new kind of tank. Like, I don't recognize this one. Uh, maybe if I just do view inside. Where are you? Where is the thing it wanted me to fix? I don't see it. I think it was this part right here. Yeah. Okay. I see what I need to do. Need to go up. Not off that little bit. Go up and in. And then just repair it. Like, finish it from here. So we good? 78. Rust removal, 78 sanding. Tank, tank assembly is down a little bit because I took it apart a teeny tiny bit. I took off these gearboxes. Alright. Show visibility. So I think we're good. Now I gotta go to the paint gun. I think it should be on primer, right? Yeah. Starts on primer. So I gotta prime this stuff. Put some of this thing back together. And then we go from there. I need to turn my own volume down. Good lord. No wonder, I'm, no wonder it seems so loud. I've been doing this like the grinder is a lot louder, but it's supposedly faster. That's why I was kind of messing with the grinder a little bit on re re removing the rust. But it is so much louder, so much louder than pretty much anything else I've used. So we can just quickly slap all this paint on, make sure to get the little back bolts. And I don't think I need to paint the engine. I think the engine it said is 100% already. So I think we're good on the engine. I like how this covers everything back here. Everything but that one little bit, and this little bit. But yeah, I wanted to get back in here, I wanted to make a tank, and put it in our museum. But I also wanted to use the newer tool, which we never got to use before. So I figured I would come in, and I would just try to earn a little bit of reputation, but I didn't expect it to be so complicated in a sense. Like, it's a lot more complicated than just our previous ones. So yeah, I figured I'd come back for this. I'm gonna paint all the outside, and then we'll re-put this thing back on. I mean, I guess I can technically do it right now. Because this is all painted up, right? Oh, but it's primer. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to switch it to the, the, the normal paint, which I could do right now, but I don't want to end up like getting myself really confused as to what I haven't done. I'm gonna do this part, and then I'll switch it. I'm not so worried about the actual top part cabin or whatever that can go on there later but if I get this done then I'm not concerned about it anymore I find it strange some of the things we paint like I wouldn't expect to paint you know like the cords and stuff it's just not something that I would expect to be using as a paint at all well, to paint on in general but this is a definitely a different kind of tank than we have had to deal with like there's a little bit more I feel to this than a lot of the other ones Oh, do I? I don't even need to. It's a gearbox. Duh, you don't need to paint the gearbox. I do have to go inside to the driver slot. Because there is stuff in here. Like the pedals. Oh, wait, what? You don't paint the pedals? Alright, gear element. Anything else in here need to be painted? Alright, no, it just says paint. I'm going to switch it out right now. I'm just going to paint it while I'm in here. So I don't have to hop back in again just easier this way. 
paint all that stuff up. All right, we're good. Oh, I saw a little pop-up. No, I think we're good. Let's paint all that stuff up while I'm in here. Just to get it out of the way. Paint the thing that's like right in my face. My god, I could not be in a tank. It is so insanely claustrophobic in here. Like, in real life, a tank would drive me insane. I would just like start freaking out because of the just tight quarters of this whole thing. Like, it's, it's crazy on how just tight everything is in here. Seats finished? Okay. I might as well just do this part real quick and then I'll just bounce out and finish up the primer on the outside because yeah I know we still need to prime right here and several pieces in there the gearbox is 100% right now though so we don't need to worry about gearbox anymore um well, I guess I'm priming this I wasn't planning on it but whatever I'm inside might as well do it <laughs> forgot that the depending on which thing you are in as to where things go. Like, some of these places are just so incredibly cramped together. Alright, we good? Paint is only at 31%, because I only did a little bit. I just saw that. I'm like, oh god, why is it so bad? Alright, get you on that side. Everything good. Get this one on this side. Okay, we're at 67%, so we're almost done painting, too. See, like this, I wouldn't imagine paint being good on this part, because it's gears. But for some reason, we paint it. I, I don't even know. Turret interior condition is 97%. Okay, so I'm only missing, like, one or two things, which is probably actually on the outside. Alright, let's just hop out. Uh, primer. Oh, we painted the whole exterior already. I don't even know how. There we go. That's what it was. We just literally have to fix the barrel of this one. Which, this one actually has a barrel. I think all the ones we've done in the past have not had a barrel on them. So that in itself is all different. Alright, I can switch you around. Paint up the whole turret real fast. There we go. So it says the interior is done, so I just need to make it nicer. I'm not even 100% sure. Do we ha I guess we sh they wanted 100% like done. That was the job. You get 51 points of reputation so I can unlock that thing, but they wanted the entire thing done and repaired and buy the parts for. It's a good amount of money for it, so I'm probably still just going to do. I don't want to write down all the parts like that is just that's too tedious for me. I'll pay that little extra cost to basically just get all the parts ordered for me. Be good. I like the inside of this one. This one's cool. It's all white. Turret interior. I'm missing something. 98%. What are you what are you missing? Primer. Oh, okay. I'm really just missing the place that my face was at. And is that all then? Yep. 100%. 100%. All right, we're good. So, I just need to paint this part up. Now it's primer mode. Then I can put these things back on. Yeah, the fact that we had to do the gears I thought was kind of crazy. I was not expecting that. It's like, oh, there's like little gears inside. How am I supposed to get to that? The inter- like, doing viewing internally does not actually show up. So it's a matter of just like, you actually have to start taking things apart on some of these tanks. You can't just do, like, boom, and you're done. <laughs> It's like, that's the way it, some of it is. Other ones, yeah. I guess, th so this is like one of the more intricate intricate tanks. The engine's already completed. So I'm not worried about that. I feel like there's a patch that kind of... Quality of life patches, if you will. Because things are a little nicer on some stuff than they were on others. Or than they were before. See, look at this. We painted it with primer, and then we painted it again. Which proceeds to turn it the same color before I even painted it with the primer. So I don't. I don't understand why we even bother painting this thing. It doesn't make sense to me. It's so weird. So flippin' weird. Alright, just last couple things. And then it's a matter of putting the entire tank together. Which is what we're gonna have to do when I go and get, uh... We find our own tank. There we go. That's where it was. It was right there. It's like little small details. That's where a lot of the misses are that I always have. 
It's like one or two small little itty bitty things. Like these gears are covered up so you can't actually even see them. Okay, we good? We good? Paint is at 63% because I don't have the top. Oh, come on. I love all this stuff that just piles up on the ground as you're doing this. I don't know why, but that, that little, like, small detail really, really intrigues me. And it entertains my brain. I guess in intrigues is not the right word. More entertains. Alright, you're good. You're good. You're good. So we're at 67%. Primer still says 71, so I'm not sure what I haven't primed. Right here. Because I never actually hopped up in here. I forgot about that. I don't have to prime you. Nope, you're all gearbox. Alright, get that one. Get that one. Am I done now? 72%. No, we have this entire section up here. Here we go, 69%. Alright, we, we, we good? 74? What am I missing? What needs to be primed? Everything just says paint now. Nope, I don't need to do the caps. What is it? What is it I'm missing? Alright, well, I'm just gonna... Oh, nope, there it was. It's right there. There one on this side, too? Anything? No? <laughs> this has definitely been the most complicated one. Alright, I guess we'll just paint it all up. Get it all finished. I'm still missing 4%, it looks like, and I literally have no clue as to where those 4% are. I can't get both of them at the same time? Thank you. That's what I wanted to do. Save me some time. And then it's like all it really comes down to at the end is just simply uh, checking the analysis and it'll tell me where the last parts are that I need to do. Which I don't think would be... I wouldn't think they'd be back here. But they're probably going to be. In fact, you know what? I bet I know one of them right now. Right there. But it's at 74 out of 78. Oh, we're only going to get 75%. Okay, let me do this, and let me do that, and then I'm going to go attach everything. So I don't see anything else. Whole interior condition, it's still lowered. Finished, finished, finished. All this stuff is finished. Alright. So I'm not sure what it is I'm missing. I didn't mean to start spraying that. Like, everything out here is done? Alright, can I go to... Not disassemble part. I want to go to assembly mode. Put these things back on. Why? Okay, put you back on. So yeah, you had to actually like do the screws and stuff, which I thought was kind of crazy. Alright, put that on, put that on, put that on. And then the front drive wheel. There we go. Did I have these? Yeah, let's see, I don't think I even had that. This is the only one that I actually detached. Okay, so get out of this. I assume I dropped my thing on the ground, right? Yep. Primer. Prime all this thing up. Boom. Paint. Paint all this thing up. So there we go. Primer is 75. Paint is 74. We're still missing something on paint. I guess I could just do tank analysis. I don't know why, but these things are all grouped up now, which they didn't, I didn't remember seeing that before. Uh, ammunition box. I gotta switch it. Switch to primer. I like how it's just like with my gun, my paint gun and everything. That's actually pretty cool. Tank analysis. Hole. Equilibrium spring. Okay. This is, yeah, like, that, that. you couldn't do this before. This changes things. Like, this is a game changer. Locker? What am I missing? So the fact that I don't feel like I can move right now. Give me my paint gun. Give me my paint gun. Why can't I get my paint gun? 
Why do you keep changing green? Uh, reset tools. Okay. <laughs> it's like my paint gun is... What is this? What is happening? I can't grab any of my tools. I don't understand what's happening. F7, skip the tutorial. Pick up. All right, well, I guess I can that way. That was super uncomfortable. All right, you tank exterior. So that's literally all I needed to do, which is this part. I could have just gone on the exterior and fixed it that way. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be that easy. Okay. Go to primer. Nope, we just got to paint. Okay, so all you guys good? You all done? That one's done. This one's not. I assume this is what I'm supposed to use, right? Maybe not. Alright. Whatever. Not tablet. I want to see the tank. Tank analysis. Okay, we good? Are we good? I know we're missing parts. Yeah, tank interior is 100%. That's 100%. Wheels. I think we're just missing pieces. Yes. Full uh, fuel system, fuel tank cap. Am I supposed to? Oh, I need to sand it. Okay. Let's just. Why? Why can I not just pick things up anymore? I don't understand why I can't pick things up. Did I push a button and it turned it off? This is weird. And horrible all at the same time. Okay, so we good? 78, 78. Primer is 77. Paint is 76. Um. I guess. Why? What is this? This is insane. Alright, I don't need to prime that. I don't need to do anything there. Tank analysis, what do we have left? Gearbox, which we don't need to do. Fuel system, we're just missing that bit. Wheels, everything is fine. Okay, so I guess all that's left, literally, is just to do this. Go here, assembly mode. Drop that. Okay, I need to connect you. I gotta do the same thing with the screws. Do 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 do. Put you all in there. Put you in there. So yeah, it's like I actually had to take things off though. I've never done that before. Thought that was crazy, even the whole wheel here. Okay, so let's just get out of that before I start doing this. There we go, I can pick it up again. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I don't know why it wouldn't let me do it before. Okay, so primer is at 77. Once I'm done with putting the assembly back on, I think we'll be good. This is just, I mean, we have the sprocket wheel, I just needed to put it back on. Connect you back in there. There we go. Okay, we good? We good. Get out of this. Bam. Alright! Sweet! 78, the only thing I don't have is painted, which is this. Paint you up. And... It's only 77. I have no idea what the last part is. I guess, uh, it is what it is. So now we just add a simply... Switch to tank assembly. Uh, tank analysis, buy missing parts. Are you serious? I only get $31,000 for this! What? Whatever. I don't even care. Don't even care. It's insane. It's flipping insane. Alright, what else am I missing? Gotta put all the wheels on before I can do anything else? Cool. I feel like that is just, I mean, I could have written them all down, but it's just too much. It's too much. That tedium is the most boring thing for me in the world. All right, well, whatever, let's screw all you in. Badoop. Badoop. <laughs> this is nuts. This is like the craziest one yet. All right, uh, armor plating. Put the track on. This last wheel on, and now I can put the bottom tracks. 
Okay, let's 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 move over. Can I click on this? There we go. Okay, move over. There we go. Put you on. And armor plating. So there's just armor plates all the way down the side of this that weren't here. Okay, let's look down again. I'm not screwing these things on at all, I just realized. Alright, so we good? One more plate. Alright. And we have this entire side that's basically missing everything. Tension bar. Is that supposed to... Do I need something on there? I don't think so. Where is these? How, what do I assemble? What's the next thing to assemble? Oh, I literally had to put these in. Okay. All right, so we good? Yep. Now I gotta put the actual parts on. Screw you in. This is the yeah. This is definitely the most intense one we've had so far. I don't think I've barely had anything to do with screws this entire time I've been building the tanks back together. Like this has a bunch. It's really only the front and the back ones it looks like have the most. Everything else is just kind of stuck in there. All right, get you, get you. We're good. All the parts. The back belt, and I didn't mean to even do the armor plating yet. Let's try and do this first. Okay, I, I can't, I can't, I need to turn. Let's go up to you. Alright, screw the bolt in. Put this on. Slapping together the whole tank. Yeah, I didn't even have a sprocket for this one. Like, this was actually something that we had to buy. The other one was already on there, I took it off. Alright. All is good and well and coming together nicely. Um, can I? Yeah, it's like I want to move back so I can actually see what I'm doing a little bit more. Armor plating, armor plating. Let's put that belt on. Put this belt on. I don't think there's like too much else I'm gonna have to do. You on? You on? All right. I think we're good. Is there anything else on the inside? Looks like the floor. I don't see anything else popping up highlighted. Right now the tank is 98% repaired. Okay, is there something over here? No, maybe it's something up top. Oop. I can never seem to climb up here. I don't know why. Is there something inside? No? How about the engine? You guys missing something? No, engine's 100%. Yeah, engine condition is 100%. Whole exterior. Is there something else in here? Alright, I guess we just look at analysis and that'll tell me. Nope, stop it. Fuel system. Air filter pipe. There we go. Oh, there we go. Why won't you let me do it? Stop it! 100% all across the board. The only thing we don't have is paint is 100%. And I gotta be honest, I don't know what it is I'm supposed to paint. Tank analysis. Everything says 100%. So, eh, whatever. I'm gonna call it good, I guess. Do I need to put everything back together? Just in case. There we go. So we got this tank all said and done. Boop. Click on you. Organizer. Need help? Finish order. Oh, this is what we started last time and I just never went. Wait. You only needed... Oh, God. That was 100%. You told me you wanted me to buy the stuff. In the, in the actual email. Need help right here. To be in perfect condition. Perfect condition. I didn't even have to do it. I didn't have to buy the things. I mean, that's only like 7,000 extra dollars. <laughs> Whatever, man. Start extraction. No, we don't start extraction. 
We need to go here to the upgrades. Now I have 61 points. So I can buy this thing. So now we have the new tool when we go out and try to find the tank. Start extraction. Off-road vehicle quad. Oh, let's look at our tablet. Looks like it's right over, it's down here. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna hop on the quad. Okay, we're good. It's down here. Ba-doop-doop. -doo. Just drive down here and I'm just gonna get in the area. I think it's gonna be a lot easier. Alright. Look, it's like there's even a place for us to park. Okay, how do I how do I get off this thing? How do I get off this thing? Brake. Brake. Handbrake. There we go. <laughs> it's like it's not stopping. Magnometer. So this is the new thing that I have to deal with. So I guess I just kind of, we just run around with it until we find what we're looking for. It's showing me where I've covered, ooh, that is actually really nice because I can't even tell you how many times I've covered the same spot, like over and over again. And uh, do I have to do something special with this? Oh no, I'm so confused by this. So is it still not telling me? Do I need to have this thing on? Like this shows me right here what we've covered. All right, well, interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. I'll, I'll see you in a second. I'm gonna just run around and try to find this thing. Oh, never mind. Literally was just a second later. It's like right here. So I can just boop, put a flag there. Then put this thing back on my machine. Or my machine. Back on here. Ba doop. Give me the shovel. Dig it for like one second. And I should be able to use shovel or call excavation using tablet. I feel like. Where's my map marker? Should be right there, right? Whatever. Where's my... There it is. I was like, where's my map marker? Return to tablet and call the excavation. Okay. Because it's like that... I don't know if you call an extraction before you dig a hole. Like, it shows up in the tutorial that you need to dig the hole first. And I know where it is, but... I don't want to... End up doing the doing something wrong, basically. We have found something. I would hope so. I would really hope so. Alright, I just need to get it to 30% clean. That should only take a second. Ooh, this is a cool looking tank. Wait, yeah, it's no. I was like, this isn't the one we had before, is it? No, it's not. All right, I will see you back at the warehouse. I'm just gonna clean this off real fast. Throw it on the, the truck and we will be out. There it is. There is our tank. I, 79%, yeah, it's not too bad. So yeah, the grinder is loud. Super flipping loud, but apparently, grinding mode. Ooh, I had it on cutting mode. That's probably not good. It's super loud, but it is super, I don't know, I can't even say necessarily that it's faster. I was going to say it's super fast, but it's not really, I don't think, I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's about the same, if anything. Alright, I'm going to go through, I'm going to grind it all, and we'll see what it looks like once we start sandblasting. Unless there's some, some sort of parts I end up having to take off, and I'll see you for that part. But my goal is to get this thing painted today and in our museum. Like I want, I'm on, I don't want to sell this one. Like we got eighty thousand dollars, no seventy nine, because it cost a thousand dollars to do the excavation. 
But I got enough money, I should be able to buy all the parts, no problem, and still have a good good chunk of money to spare. But yeah, I'll see you in a second. Okay, apparently there's some parts somewhere that I don't have done, but it is what it is. I'm not 100% sure where. We'll, we'll figure it out afterwards, I'm gonna drop that thing, that thing's freaking loud. And sandblaster. See what this looks like after we take all the, all the, the gunk off of it. I bet it's probably right here, isn't it? Nope. Nope, it's not. It's all it's all good. These springs, by the way. That's all. That that's. I'm glad I saw that when I was going through. Just putting them up because as you if you point at the springs, everything is good there. All right, life things happen. You gotta come back, and I'm good. Everything's going good. <laughs> We're just sanding stuff. Um. I think. Honestly, the engine itself, I think we may actually be missing a part on it. Because after sanding it, or not sanding it, but removing the rust, it's not really picking up on the size. So I think for us to actually get this engine up and running, we may end up having to do something. Rust removal. Are oh, you telling me the plate up there? Really? Let me just drop you for a second. Plate. Okay, now we're good. That's literally all I needed to do was like one second more of that. But this will let me know exactly where we're at. Yeah, 66%. So there's something missing on the engine. We're going to end up having to replace. I'm not sure where exactly, but it looks like somewhere it is missing because it's not 100%. Which a lot of the other things... Everything we've repaired so far on the engine, I think, in the past has always come out to 100%. So I'm not sure what it's going to be, but my guess is it's not going to be cheap. <laughs> this is probably going to be like the same thing as the last one. I mean, it's only 79% of the assembly of the tank. So it's it's not going to be cheap. It's going to be an expensive freaking fix. I love the fact we actually have a barrel. It makes me happy. I know, that, I think there's a targeting range. I say I know, I think. I don't know for certain. But it looks like there's it should, should be a targeting range. It just it's a lot of points, so I don't think we're gonna get to that today. It may be one more video of this. I have I, I enjoy this game. Like it's it's I said last time it's a cathartic thing for this. Like it's just it's nice to sit here and do this. It's in, it's it's weirdly enjoyable. And so uh, yeah, I have no problem doing another video as long as you guys want to see one more at least. But I don't think we'll have everything done this time either. Like we will get something in the in the museum for sure. So I, I'm gonna I'll see you after I actually go to put paint on and see what this actually looks like with all the paint. Okay, so everything's primered. I guess we're at eighty percent anyways. There's something that I missed that's primered. Whoa, this is like super green. I'm quite expecting it to be super green. That's kind of crazy. That is really intense green. Okay, everything here good. Got these boxes right here to paint. I love the paint too. It's it's the nicest part of the whole thing. Like when it comes to like grinding the stuff, it it you gotta be like kind of specific as to where you are pointing on the grinding. When it comes to like this part, the painting, you just kind of aim in a direction, and it kind of likes to paint a lot of the stuff. All at once. So it really it really just makes it a lot easier to paint in. Especially when you're down here. Like I just kinda aim at where I want to paint. And it just kinda covers it all. No, you're not doing it this time. This is like the one time it's being super finicky. But like right here. I aim here, it covers all the stuff in the front. I aim right here, it covers all the stuff in the front plus the spring in the back. Oh, these are the different kind of wheels. They look almost they look almost rubberish. Okay, so that's fine. I wonder when replacing the seat. It's like well, the last take may may have seemed like it, kind of one of the hardest ones I've done so far because I had to start removing pieces and everything. This one I feel like may be one of the easier ones. Like it's like the maybe it's just an old tank, so it has less parts to it. But it seems like it has less parts to it. It may not actually, but it at least seems like it does. So, 
I don't know. This one has not seemed like anything like the last time. The last thing I did. Bump spring already good. These the spring on the other side that's missing is one of the is really the only concern I have for something that may take a minute to actually do. But I mean, as far as everything else, I, I it, it's already almost fully painted. It's at 81 percent, which doesn't make any sense because tank assembly is 70 79 percent. So how is it how is it actually higher? I don't get that part. That part confuses me. It doesn't seem like that should be a thing. So our paint is only 66%. Oh, because I have the turret. I was like, why is it so low? It should be a lot higher. And I mean, even like this turret. Like, a lot of the times I have to hop up the top on top of the turret to paint everything on the turret. But this one, I can literally just go inside. Don't even have to. Am I crouched? Maybe I am. I am crouched. Maybe I'm already crouched. I just do everything crouched, apparently. But. Yeah, I just come in here, and I just aim up, and I don't even have to hop on top of the thing. Because you can paint everything from down here. So, this shit, it makes it, like, even easier. You're painted, you're painted. Get the seat. I mean, it is good, right? Yeah. Primer? Oh! Okay, so I guess that's what I was missing on the primer. Just finishing that, and then I just gotta paint this. Alright, so turret interior condition, 90%. What is it that I'm missing then? I mean, maybe we're just missing an actual part for the turret, I guess? But I mean, paint itself is 90%, 96. Everything inside is painted. Everything outside is painted. Yeah, so it's 80% on paint. I don't know what it is that I'm missing. I guess I can just go to analysis. Whole exterior. Everything's good. Whole interior. Everything's good. Basically, it's just parts that I'm missing. Mallet protective sleeve? Oh, is that... That was really it? Alright. And we're good. We're good. That was it. So, tank assembly. Somehow, I, I don't know if I have, like, extra parts or what it is exactly. Assembly mode. Yeah, see, I don't. I didn't think I had the parts. Buy missing parts. That's actually not that bad. So I don't have to do anything extra for you, really? It's not letting me assemble the part. Assemble part. Assemble. No. I don't know what's happening. Am I finding bugs in the game? Is that what's happening here? Okay. Can I please assemble? There we go. Now it's working. Oh, I gotta do this part. So this one actually, this belt actually has those. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to zoom out because it should be over here. Okay, so do you. There we go. And the suspension needs to go on. Oh, we got bolts here. Go, go, go. You can do it. Road wheel. Okay, and then we need the rest of the belt. This is connected up here. This is connected down here. Does that mean this one even has one? Okay, click back on this. Make us move over. Yeah, there's one here. So is it not have one anywhere else? Okay, get out, get out of this. I don't like being in the part mode. Okay, can I re can I can I do it now? Yes. All the bolts need to go in. Boop 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 a doo. All right, road wheel, road wheel. And then we just gotta add the train the the belt. Eighty nine percent right now. Put you in there. I like how it just keeps moving over too, and it hasn't been doing this. I feel like sometimes the rules of how it how it works change, just depending on the specific action I'm taking. Okay, bring you in, bring you in. There we go. We got all wheels done. So we have a front headlight. Uh. Okay, so there is supposed to be extra ammunition boxes in here. I'd wondered about that because it's just like this weird gap. Right, anything else inside right here? 
Nothing else that I see there. Oh, over on the engine. Okay, get out of this. So yeah, the engine was missing, the front carburetor. Still missing stuff. Air intake manifold. And engine headers. Jeez. Jeez, it was missing so much. Okay, so we have 100%. Yep, engine is 100%. Whole exterior is 100%. Gearbox is 100%. So I guess it all just comes to this one was missing something? Viewer? T turret interior? Oh, it's full. And we're, we're good. 100% everything. Assembly. Yeah, 100% everything. So we have this thing fully good. How much does this thing sell for if I wanted to sell it, by the way? Uh, you. No, not interior. I want analysis. $51,000? This is more expensive than our... We'd sell this for more money than we did on the other one. But that's not what I want to do. I want to take you... Reattach the engine. Reattach that part. All right. Oh, wait. Do I just have to look at the tank and tell it to go there? Storage. Nope, that's not what I want. How do I tell you to go somewhere else? Nope. Uh, please, please open door. All right, can I just tell it in here? Storage. Recycle. No. How do I bring my tank in here? I've never messed with this. I want to paint the tank. The tank. A different color. Paint control room. That's what I was trying to do. Tank status menu. Move tank to different locations. There we go. Okay, move it to the paint room. I have a better place for you achievement. Okay. So what do we have? Oh my god, I can change it all kinds of colors. Holy bright eye. I like the dark green. Go with the forest green. Oh, I can put symbols on it. Okay. Ooh. Rawr. <laughs> okay, I'm down. Where else can I put it? Just it has to be on the side? Actually, I kind of like that. How do I... Can I rotate you? <laughs> it looks like it's biting the thing. There we go. I'm totally doing that. Is there one on the other side, too? No. Put a star on the other side. Star right on the side. Right here? I think that looks good. Oh, yeah. I can decal the crap out of this. So these are preset colors and everything. All right, color palette, camo. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that one's awful looking. That one hurts my brain. Nah, I'm good. I honestly, I kind of like this one. Like even with the color scheme that it's set up as, as, as the red scale. Oh, how much, how like how intense it is, the pattern. I'm fine with it being bigger. Rotation. No, I'm good with it being not rotated. The state of things. Oh, how strong it is. Okay, yeah, as bright as I as bright as I can get. Whoa. Go into dark blue. Oh, that looks so cool. All right, I'm down. Let's do it. Apply. Apply, 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 apply. Do I just escape? Okay, there we go, look at our tank. Now, get close to you again. Tank status, move tank to museum. Slot one. Russian bias is showtime achievement. It's got both of those. So let's check it out. So we already had our weapons in here. We have a tank here now. Nice. That's not what this is. T-34. How do I choose which one are you? 
T34. Right there. Okay. Set up the little thing. I'll change you to a T34 as well. KV T34. Oh, wait. There's two different kinds. I think it's this one. If you look, it's this one. 76? 76. Did I do a different one? Yeah, that's right. There we go. Nice. So we got our first tank that's painted crazy and stuck right there. I'm happy. I'm happy. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see another one. I am totally fine with doing another one. I like this game. It's really fun. And I want to also try out the gun, gun range, which we need a lot more upgrade points for. But I think I'm going to end it here for now. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.